Santa Maria, inihanda sa Diyos, si Gampong kami makasasala kung karono sa oras sa among kamatay. I remember when I was younger, I used to always strive to have the right answer all the time. But deep down, I always knew that what motivated me were my insecurities and the fear of the unknown. I fought so hard for the large part of my life to always be right because I couldn't bear to embrace the idea that there are some things in life I couldn't understand nor control. As I got older, and experience more highs and lows, I realize that life is not about being right all the time. Life is about living. I think that too often, we get so caught up in the minutia of our sheltered and routine lives that we forget to live. This is why I love traveling, doing things that scare me, or coming home to the Philippines, because all of these things humble me back down to reality. To me, the biggest mistake one can commit is to go through life without making any. For how will you learn without these experiences? Marcus Aurelius once said, Very little is needed to have a happy life. It is all within yourself and in your way of thinking. In my mind, Philippines is not just a place, it's a mindset. It's about 10.15 in the morning. Feels like it's 12 o'clock at noon. We've pretty, we've pretty much been doing nothing. Just relaxing, taking naps, eating some food. Island life. So, you guys must be wondering what was going on earlier this morning when I was carrying that statue of Mother Mary. I'll talk a little bit more about that later after the, uh, after the beach, of course, but you know, remember the thing I told you that Philippines is a highly religious and highly Catholic country. I wasn't kidding. So we'll go a little bit more in depth because every single town here has a very unique uh, microculture, which is interesting, um, especially compared to the West. So, uh, but first, the beach to the beach. tree the green tree so interesting story that green tree is the tree that grows the thorns it's the tree that grows the thorns which were used on the crucifixion of Jesus crazy right so the irony is uh, being a very a highly Catholic culture that Philippines is that this bar here uh, is literally covered by thorns that contributed to the death of Jesus. Maybe I'm being a little overcritical, but you know, that's this is my show and I can say whatever the hell I want. So take that. For most of you that don't know, Philippines is is what you call an archipelago. It's a group of over 7,000 islands in the Pacific Southeast and it literally is filled with active volcanoes because it's in the Pacific Rim so the Pacific Plate is has a lot of subduction zones if you google it just google it uh, I don't have to explain it to you guys but I just want you to understand that Philippines the reason why it has these beautiful beaches and these beautiful islands um, it's because they actually came from the water, from underground and went straight up. And then you get this.
Bonus. Magalanes Street. That's where we are. That's where we are. Boy, forget how the Pacific Sun is right on the equator. Boy, it's hot. But the great thing about being Filipino is we've got all this melanin. Sorry, it's dried up poop, so it won't stick. Ah, only a native boy would know that. <laughs> see, look, you see how my Lola's uh, lawn is? They have grass. See. They have grass, so it looks nicer than just random nothingness. You know? Actually, landscape everything. That's what we're actually doing here. We're looking at our places, our properties. We're gonna make it to a community area, like a sports club, where everybody can uh, and you know, get together, enjoy, live a healthy life. You know, it doesn't matter how much money you have, if you don't live a healthy life, you're very poor. Alright, so the end of our trip here, or at least our stay here in Asturias, um, comes to an end today. Uh, we're gonna go head back to the city. We're gonna head back to the city and then we're gonna get my luggage together and then we'll uh, head to the airport in the evening. I think my flight's about 7 7 50. We're gonna end up in Singapore after this. Um, I just wanted to reflect on the experience so far of not only coming to Cebu but coming home to my roots and, and looking at where I used to grow up when I was younger and, and you know visiting my and visiting my uh, grandparents gravesite it really gives you perspective on the things that really matter and what I guess to take away from any experience that anybody has should be what did you get out of it uh, in making you feel more appreciative of your life and maybe improving your life so I guess I'll just leave you with this uh, time waits for no one um, the one thing that we all share in common is that we're all going to go in the same place which is death uh, and we will have our own time each one of us and with that in your mind with that realization you know, if, if you really appreciate the, the gravity of that then I think what's gonna happen is it definitely gives you the perspective and allows you to prioritize the things that really matter in life and not to be frivolous with your time um, or your attention so you know I think it's a very appropriate day because the, the weather is beautiful um, and to leave this place uh, for the moment I'll be definitely I'll definitely be back here maybe later this year or next year but um, in a different circumstance um, hopefully much better circumstance than when we arrived here um, where we can spend actually a, a good amount of time this trip is a little bit rushed but you can't have everything in life um, so you just gotta appreciate as much as you can so I definitely appreciate this trip being able to take this time off 
um, to see my family and to see all of this. You know. Um, so see you guys a bit later. We're gonna go through the Trans Central Highway, and I'm gonna show you guys what uh, what a beautiful country Philippines is, especially Cebu Island.